Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm obviously going to be doing my April favourites since in the blink of an eye, we're just about to wound up in May. And we are one month away from my birthday. Fun fact. So very much like my um, previous March favourites, um, I am going to be doing these favourites in no particular order. Like, this will just be really straight and random. I'm just going to pick up an object or product, more specifically. And of course, review about it. So let's get started. Also, yes, this wig is from Light the Box. It has certainly been my go to website for wig buying. It's obviously, at least from as you can tell, and I sort of um, been chipping into it a little bit. I even gave it some layers. Um, so as soon as I put it on, I looked like Meryl you know, Street from Into the Something. Um, instead of Woods, that's what it was. I and mean, obviously, she's a gorgeous woman. Um, but with her silver wig that she wore that movie, I presume she wore a silver wig, I saw like snippets of the movie. Uh, but as soon as I put this wig on the way it came, after I turned it out, I kind of like that. So I did um, layer it up some. I tell you, off end the length, the length is um, very accurate. Um, but as well, also add some little baby hairs. Because um, obviously, when you we pin our hair back or do whatever to our hair, we get baby hairs. Rambling, let's get started properly. <laughs> okay, so the first item, like right there in front of me, is my VO5 heat spray. I did just recently use this in a um, video which was my recent prom look. It so smells really good. Of course, it protects the heat from protects your hair from heat. I'm loving this stuff. Um, except for my mum's. Um, because I ran out of my um, Tony and Guy one, which is also equally as good. I have been using this one. And also my hair is quite cooked. <laughs> um, because after I did the um, prom look, I did bleach my hair one more time just to colour correct the yellow tones and sort of... Um, Rotten up my roots a little bit and um, kick out some of the unnecessary lavender stains from my purple shampoo. So when I'm um, just at the end of the, um, the prom look, I did a cross straight in my hair and I used this to protect my hair for me. Next is my fix spray. As you can see, I'm just about to run out of this and I'm on two bars of battery. Cool. I suppose I should go and grab my battery charger and put my sister's silver one on. Be right back. Okay, as I was saying, as you can see, the um, spray well is just about finished and had its time but I just recently used this spray to obviously set my makeup in place um that's like having the best skin that day by far because um there are a lot of information still sticking through my skin overall looks clear um which we'll get obviously into skincare in a moment but this has been really really good for um, setting my face in place it's not as raised about um as Urban Decay or Pix or Pixie by Petra or one of those sprays <sighs> Sorry, hiccups. I'm struggling to laugh and I'm trying to suppress them. But I have been personally loving this Australia the setting spray. I always need to purchase myself some more. Next in line has been this rhinestone um, comb which came with my technically my Toralite wig. And um, it was that um, short, choppy, pixie cut orange wig that you saw in my if you saw my Toralite look, because I am doing a Monster High series. Toralite look, um, I wore that wig and this comb can be like a complimentary comb, so I have also been using this for my own hair. So it's a rhinestone comb, very, very plastic, obviously. I've been using it to, just to um, comb out wigs and my own hair. I am bleached to the max. I obviously need to take a comb, a white tooth comb over a regular brush. A regular brush would just take 20 out of my hair. A comb still does because my hair is weak, but it's also why I'm kind of wearing a wig. I mean, my hair doesn't look like... <laughs> It doesn't exactly, um, it's not like luxurious either. So, yeah, I've been using this uh, white tooth comb. It's a lot better to use white tooth comb for your hair anyway. But personal preference. So, I've been loving this comb, and thank you for weeks by for randomly sending me this in the package that I ordered. <laughs> so, nothing about this video is sponsored. Next in line, um, it's unfortunately empty because I have cleared it right out. But it's my angels on bare skin. I have been using uh, my mum's angels, uh, no, and my mum's lush. Herbalism or something like that. So it's basically similar to this, except it's green, hence the herb. I really had to wash my face just until I can get some more of this. But I have been loving this. This has actually started to clear my skin up a little bit more. Plus the juice plus stuff that I use. That was a misplaced my um open container. I'll went to find it. I can try to take the capsules. This kind of has just been amazing um for helping me clear up my skin. Still get breakouts because that's just where my skin is. I have really acne prone skin. I cannot get rid of it permanently. I can only help minimize um the appearance of acne. So this cleanser has been helping me along the way. Now even though every hairdresser possibly watching this video is gonna be cringing so much to the point of an aneurysm, there was also a black one in my drawer but I've in my um, recent cleaning of my bedroom video for 2017, um, I unfortunately had to check out my hairdressing scissors because um, they were too blunt to use. I don't really know where you go to get them sharpened, so just been 
uh, but I wasn't improperly using material or kitchen scissors. Okay, I still cuts hair sharply and instantly. You can cut this wig with these scissors. Um, it has done a good job. Um, I haven't really needed to cut my hair that much, but for as far as I'm just getting rid of those dead ends, the little crusty dead ends at the right ends of the hair, I've just been using these for a quick slip at the bottom and done it on the rest of the day or night. I'm using these and or the black ones, like I said, which are a slightly different soap handle. And speaking of scissors, now hairdressers just will make it feel a little bit better. Now, my thing is years, which I also use for this week because like I said when I first put it on, I look like Meryl Streep's carries on from Insta Woods. Then now to take all the bulk out. Um, also with another wig, my bond wig, I use up these thing shears. Another wig. So um, when you first purchase wig, unless you intention to buy them quite fine, it will sit very thick and be too obvious. I mean, yes, people do have to care, but not wig thick. <laughs> but these scissors have been great for um, thinning out the unwanted bulk in hair. Her hair scissors aside, I'm pinning my hair back for the sake of tutorials. Um, I have it in this headband. I do have like a more material version of this and a gold reindeer one. I am <coughs> I only got a reindeer one because it was Christmas season and even though I actually bought it too little too late, um, it's still cute to have. So obviously next Christmas when that rolls around, I will. I just hear cicadas in my head. So I thought for a second that actually cicada it is too early in the day. It's only. 12.45. It's really for skaters. <laughs> oh, crickets. Okay, so I've been using this headband a lot and it's certainly been my favourite. Plus it looks cute, so. Okay, next in line. I feel like I said like 20 times now. It's been coconut oil. Everybody should be loving coconut oil as well as every other mask, but coconut oil is the most penetrative out there. I have this place to live and as you can see, there's quite a lot missing. I've been using this on my hair, especially with the roots. But like I said, I just, did just recently bleach my hair um, pretty much Friday? No, sorry, Thursday night. Obviously, by the time you're watching this, is obviously gonna be a Monday. Thursday night, but after I filmed my um, prom video. Thursday night, after I filmed my prom video, because I pre record my videos, at least I try to. I then lighten my hair. So today is. Today is Friday, but you'll be watching this on a Monday. Just yesterday, um, last night, I did pre light my hair again just to get rid of the yellow tones. Um, Annoying love in the stain and to lighten my roots up a little bit. So all one shade except that my ends caught a little bit of silver. But the next time I wash my hair, that will fade out. So for as far as um after hair oils, I have been using coconut oil and it's just been great. Hair still feels like synthetic hair. It's bleached. It is damaged. Um, it's not too far gone. Still feels quite strong. This has been great for my hair and I just love coconut oil in general. It's all pretty good for removing makeup with. Next is has been my um, vanishing cream, which is simply a moisturizer, of course from Lush. Anybody would recognize this label in an instant. It starts sinks into your skin within seconds of putting it on, so you don't have to sit there waiting for ages for your moisturizer to sink into your skin when it instantly sets in so you can quickly get on the rest of your makeup. It feels really good on the skin, um, especially when you freshly wash your face and you feel a little bit um, dried out, a little bit dried out. This obviously erases that feeling, so loving this vanishing cream. So as far as shampoos and conditioners go, um, I sort of changed up my shampoo and conditioner routine just a little bit. Um, I've got a hell of a shampoo one. The shampoo has been a shimmer light. I do have to get this online because it doesn't um, sell in Australia, annoyingly. I generally get this either off House of Beauty or Fish Pond. Which Fish Pond takes about half a year to arrive, exaggeratively speaking. And again, most typical packages I order online from OMC to take two to a week, two weeks or four weeks to arrive. So yeah, for Tony purposes, I've obviously been loving this purple shampoo. I mean, that's obviously because, well, now that you know, it's now obvious. <laughs> so my hair is um, platinum by blonde at the top and slightly ashier at the bottom. I don't know because when that fades out again, my hair will then match my roots. So great for toning. From now, this pebble is conditioned. It actually is a stain, but it does certainly um make the hair feel a little bit softer. I'm mixing it with this Tresemme um re moisturized conditioner. These two together, which actually makes my hair feel feel pretty good. But like I said, yeah, bit my time. Like I said, I have just just recently switched up my um, shampoo routine. Like I still obviously always use a pebble shampoo because that's for training purposes, duh. But as for an actual shampoo, I'll, like, I'll always have to get some trial and error before I finish this idea. This is how I now wash my hair. I'm using um, a um, Duoco moisturizing shampoo because obviously, even though my hair is oily naturally, I do need a lot of moisturizer in, moisturizer in, in my hair. So I um, also used a. I can of Morocco conditioner, sweeps for my hair. 
and it's like a little bit of this conditioner in it as well. That's my new um, shampooing routine. And um, I'll always get a little bit more, a few more days for my hair to respond to the new change. And then I might get back to it and see how it goes. <laughs> so next has been my um, Glow Glow Mud Mask. I have mainly been using this as a spot treatment lately. I, when I wash this makeup off, probably when I edit this, um, I will definitely be putting some as a mask because my skin um, has looking a bit, has been looking a little bit um, a little pigmentatious. But I'm more pigmentation. Plus old acne scars. To use this time to clean up all over my skin, not just specific um, designated spots. This has been great from starting to and halfway making zits manage because obviously they go away on their own after a while. I hate getting hiccups. Show the product look. I have been loving this um, mud mask that is for, for spot treatment purposes, but I will need to do a mask with this whilst I'm probably editing this. <laughs> Although they just arrived no more than three, four, five, a week ago, uh, I have already got a pair on my eyes. Duh. So beauty, um, for a second, I thought I was holding it upside down. I'm not. It's a really pious stack. I am, as you can see, it's like a, a chunk missing. They are on my eyes, like I said. And wearing the Brave. I needed to get some more false lashes because the one I was currently using was Katy Perry Eyelid with No Honey and some other random one that has like an animated effect to it. Two different lashes. So that's why I got myself the pious stack. I also got my sister the exact same one, so there's no chance of us mixing up lashes and getting um, two different lashes in our room. We got, um, as far as this, um, the rogue goes, I did have the hero, the wild one, instead of the brave and the rebel. So the hero, the wild one, the sinner, the brave which is on my eyes, and the probably wasn't even in front the whole time. And of course the rebel which is a little at the bottom. Brave is on my eyes and I just love them. Typically I have to cut them out of sizes a littlest bit, but other than that they feel a little bit tense when you first put them on. Technically obviously all new lashes do when you first put them on. And once you get used to that part, Always get past that point, they feel so comfortable. They don't feel um, heavy, like some lashes are as big as and bold as these can feel quite way down on the eyes. These don't at all. I don't feel, I don't feel like I have lashes on at all. Good job, Shannon. <laughs> I'm holding myself. I am not, so we just have the same name. So for my contour, you're gonna love being um, the Ace Contour um, palette from Ace uh, Astralis. Astralis, my a friend of mine who was my sister in law but now a friend. Um, she got this for me for my 22nd, I think. I'm almost 25 now, but I think it was my 22nd birthday. So it is a powder contour. So the yellow one's going to taken up, but I use this one for contouring and I love these two for bronzing. Favourite, 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 favourite lip products um, or lipsticks has definitely been the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Pro Palette. And I do have two shades on my lips now. This is what the palette looks like. Um, it does come with a mixing a slate and a brush which I will dig out in a second when I get around to the brushes point of view. A part of the video. So I've been loving this palette. The um, colours are so pigmented. They go on so easily even if you have dry lips they soak on so easily. They actually last quite a long time. Like I've eaten pasta um, when I did the first impressions in my um, Jeffree Star Georgia D palette but I also included this in the video. Pasta and I put away to the video, um, or put away to the end of the video. It was a tiny bit faded, like a particular lip shade that I had on. I think it might have been um, this shade here, this red shade that I had on, and I did it with the past, like it faded the tiniest bit because I didn't put that much on. For the most part, it was still there, so they are long lasting, and um, I do specifically have this shade um, as the main tone, but then this shade here just to lighten up a little bit. So I wanted like, a muted, more of a dusty, um, pink red tone, and these two help me achieve that. I love this palette. As far as um, hair tools go, my hair, or specifically my wigs, I do also have a video on how I curl my wigs. Um, I did use this barrel um, from New Me, and I've realised I've said um, way too many times. I should either be drunk by now from the amount of shots, not that I am drinking right now, or um, I should be, you know, tipped for every time I say um. Not can't see for the amount of times I just point out the time I say um. So I've been loving this um, barrel. It is one of the small ones, so you can put like, quite a lot of hair on it. Um, so the more hair that you put on it, on a small barrel, the, um, the more volume you'll get or something like that. The smaller one, smaller strands you put on um, dust fields trying to think of. The more hair you put on it, the um, looser the waves, um, the smaller the hair you put on a small barrel, the tighter the waves or curls. I've been loving this. Um, 
I should also be tips for the better times I've said I'm loving this. So I have been loving this uh, curling wand for so long. Sometimes I'll use it for my own hair or mostly just for weeks. Either way, I love it. So as far as my straightener goes, I do actually have a um, straightening brush. But I have been using um, this straightener more often lately. Like I wash my hair once a week. Um, so as soon as my hair has completely dried, I'll then give it a little straighten through. And I don't wash my hair for another week later. Hardly ever straighten my hair, but when I do, I really, really love my silver bullet one. I did get this in my hairdressing kit back when I was doing Cert 3 in hairdressing. So, this um, is a termaline one, so in other words, it, um, it seals, over the, seals over the cuticle and makes your hair feel smooth. And if your hair is um, worse than a Sahara Desert. Okay, so next pearl that I've been loving mostly is specifically not only for the enticing smell but also for the highlight that's in it. My chocolate bar and I've been loving champagne chocolate as you can see it's the only shade that I've hit the hand on which is a bit sad. Do you have it on right now as my highlight of course and uh, typical points of the face. I also love the smell. Now it makes me want to go out and buy chocolate but every time I do I get some kicks. <laughs> that I've been really really loving mostly from the old fashioned coppery tones that it gives off. has been the um, modern renaissance palette. Yeah, I love these colours so much. They're so pigmented and beautiful. And that's all there is to say about it, really. I felt like I did to say has been my um beheads, not my, but the palette that I own. My beheads because I'm very turning XO. On one side of the shadows, of course, and on the other side of the lip products. I love how it's like a double sided thing, so I've been loving this palette so much. And finally, on two brushes. So before we get onto brushes, actually, I just want to quickly throw in my one of my favorite wigs. It's definitely this um, brown one, so smooth, so soft, so freaking long. <laughs> Love this wig so much. Also from Let the Box, like a Jenna Marshall wig. Obviously this silver one because, um, I mean, as much as I also want silver hair, and I did reorder some more hair dye, Brina, I do have a first impressions on that as well. It's also good to just change it up and like, put a silver wig on your head. That's out of the way. Back of the brushes. As far as I was finished sponges go, I literally only own, well I have a pair, but I own one, one brand, it's the Exo Beauty Force Finish Sponge. I use this all the time to blend my foundation now and to set my primer in place because it just takes um, a white area in the face. It just, it gets you through your makeup so much quicker. I love this sponge. Now my brow groomer brush is also from Exo Beauty, which um, is the groomer brush. It's a double ended one, so I spoil on one end and the applicator on the other end. I love how small it is, so you can make it as um, tiny as you want, as defined as you want, or go as big as you want. Quite an odd um, uh, brush, but I've been loving this Essence eyeliner. I, of course, do have it on already. I did try to sting um, putting white eyeliner down first and put some of, um, uh, I think it was Gloom, the green shade from the Pastel Gloss palette. Um, I tried to make the um, green far more vibrant, but I just wasn't getting far, so I was sort of going to stop it. But if it is get on with, so. I just tried to over this with um, stuff on from Essence. I was originally looking for um, one from um, Rimmel, which is my other one, which is Sally's right out. But I couldn't find it, so I just got an Essence one. And um, it's actually the best of both worlds because it has a flimsy tip for those who don't like a precision pen. Um, there's also a precision pen for those who don't like a flimsy tip and like a more stiffer brush. Like it's still stiff, like it's firm, but it's also very flexible. I just bit my lip. So back onto brushes, I've been loving my Real Snakes um, crease detail brush that so I actually use it to apply my primer with. Also been loving my um, Duo Ended Artist Medicare brush which I've just had for Aeons. Obviously for packing on eyeshadows which I did use this brush for most of my shadows. And there's some fluffy hair in for just some gradual build up and just sort of um, spread it around. So as far as powder brushes go, also from Exit Reader, like I only have two brush lines, Exit Reader and Kylie Cosmetics. So this brush, um, powder brush, takes up about 80% of your face, so I've been loving this to set my, set my foundation with. I don't often use this foundation brush for its main purpose. Like sometimes I'll actually use it either for a bronzer shade or even for a highlight shade. So I have been loving, once again from Exo Beauty, the um, Do It In A Power Brush. This side um, for when I'm doing um, good looks, for a perfect example, um, my Slip Not Kill Pop look and or my Inner Demons look, I use this brush. I also use this brush just to, um, it was a bit stiff because there's some concealer left on it. I clean up my brows. I also use this side just for like fine details. So I love this brush from concealing purposes and theatrical reasons or body painting more specifically. So just sussing out the little brushes. 
this little brush, um, pencil brush, is looking a little bit tattered and destroyed. I did want to use this um, to attach spirit gum to my face. Um, and I didn't exactly clean it off too quickly, so it's just as stiff as what it used to be. But I still use it um, for obviously applying lip shades sometimes, and or um, eyeliner. And um, when I use um, like a powder, like an eyeshadow from eyeliner. So the next brush is from a completely different brand. It's actually from um, my Pro Lip Palette. Is um, lip um, applicating brush that the um, Lip Pro Palette comes with, and it's just to attach both shades. And this um, is so good at packing on colour. I love this little brush, and it's perfect for your travelling because it'll just fit right in with it'll fit perfectly right in with your travelling case. And the brush ever. The reason I'm an extra beauty professional on this as well. Um, I couldn't find this for the longest time um, because it was caught between the furniture of my room and my filming area. But I love this so much. Like I was almost lost without this brush when I was convinced I lost it. Pencil brush and my eyeliner brush. You can see there's a little bit of green on it because um, like I said I tried to put green on um, my white liner. It didn't work out. So pencil brush um, has been good for um, you know, close to the lash line uh, eyelining. It's obviously what the other things that pencil brushes are used for. Eyeliner brush has um, also been pretty good for theatrical looks. Um, yeah, it's not the only other reason why I use my pencil brush. I mean, I love brush. Last brush, um, well not the last brush, but the last brush in my hand has been the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette Brush, which it comes in with. Once again, Duo Angels is obviously a shadow packing one, and this is obviously a blending type one. I've actually been using this side, um, sometimes for my nose contour, and this side just to blend it out a little bit. So my favourite contour slash Favourite contour slash bronzing brush has been this one, also from Exit Beauty. So I've only got two brush lines, well, three with the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. So I do use this to contour and to bronze at the same time, and usually to sweep away bake. Before I was using a false finish sponge, I was in love with this foundation brush, the Dense Fibre Brush. Or that French brush as it's um, labelly, labelledly called. That's not even a word, but whatever. I love this. It makes my foundation so smooth. I haven't used it in a while because I've just fallen head over heels with my beauty blender. So straying slightly away from brushes and onto primers, I do have two favourites. One is sounded a little bit dry out. Um, I haven't used them lately. The two face shadow shrooms from the tutorials, which came in her kit, I guess you could say, when she collabed with Too Faced. And my MAC Soft Ochre soft Paint Pot, which I, like I said, um, has dried out a little bit, and according to Jason Perkins, you can actually put oil in it to soften it back up again, so that's what I'll be doing real soon. <laughs> Loving this one lately, um, it's so lightweight, it goes on like a cream, but as soon as you blend it out, it almost tends to look like an oil substance. Yeah, it's a pretty good sign that you'll need to blend it in, um, set, the, it, set it instantly. Wow, I've been talking too long. Here's the mascara, and I will eventually upgrade to the Jumbo Size one. I say that like every single week here. My Benefit Roll Lash, like I said, I did also use this on my eyes today. This, lash, this mascara is so good at covering my lashes, not necessarily making them longer and more full and almost like I have secretly got false lashes on when I really don't. I, along those lines, I mean, I'm sure that the Jumbo one um, delivers that a little bit better. But like, this is just a mini one, because at the time, it was all I could afford. And that time, as I broke, I had enough to pay for this, but, you know. So yeah, I've been loving this Benefit Roll Lash so much. It's like, my only go-to mascara. <laughs> my favourite foundation, which of course I have on today, the Maybelline Fit Me. This is generally medium to light full coverage, or medium to light coverage. I'm in the shade Classic Ivory, which some lightings are, it's actually like much shade darker for me. This ring light makes my skin look pale, but in regular light, I actually look, I have more olive pink toned skin. This foundation is really, really good. Um, of course, you repurchase another one. I think this one is the new one. I <laughs> another one. I was using some beige before that, mainly because I usually fake tan. Like, I haven't in a while, but I usually fake tan. So, I got myself a um, Maybelline in some, uh, Classic Ivory for a better colour match. And this foundation never since. So, for my favourite powder up until I eventually bust open my Laura Mercier Universal one, then the BYS one, and I'm always accidentally calling this one my Safia one because they're pretty similar. BYS one to bake and to set my face with, as well as my primer. Favorite concealer lately, even though this is technically meant to be for I guess sports vanishing one, I have been using my CoverGirl one. Cover the hardware that's specifically meant for sports vanishing, but I'll put it under my eyes in a first impression um, within a different video. I'm trying to blend it in with my pretty blender, but it was showing that way too quickly and. It just looks so patchy, and I was, had no makeup on it, I was just playing it and going out to town. Um, I quickly um, put it on to some spots and then let it sit. Okay, I don't know when my camera switched off, but the last thing I was talking about was my... Um, no. 
both my concealer, like all of my sleeve when I'm like edit this off by how much I've been talking for and clearly I excelled over 10 minutes. So just talking about my concealer and how um, it dried out using a beauty blender but it goes on pretty well with a brush. The other thing that I have been loving lately has been my Pomade. I obviously have my brows today. It's in the shade Chocolates. It is so good, it's so pigmented. Except when it dries out, it's not. And it's nice and moist. It goes on amazingly. That was a little bit of tune, but whatever. Here at Lash Lou, um, there was a bit of a touch and go with this one for a short while, but I eventually grew to love it. Now, the only downside is it does leave a black, um, like if it grips your skin a bit too well. Um, it does stick to you a little bit, a little bit more than what you wanted to, but long adhesive. I obviously use the Sigma lashes on. I will eventually upgrade to like a dual lash or the other lash glue. Yeah, I've been loving this Sigma lashes down lately. And then here, just about to cover everything about brushes, especially on the color because the next one, but it's only like a small amount, so there isn't too much point in showing. But it is. Oh, that's not all my favorites. I have one more favorite. Um. I hope you guys can see that quite well, but in this moment, oh lord, it's like singing to God, but singing about the devil. So if you're a Christian, and you're very hypersensitive about the stuff, don't listen to this song, because you will find it offensive in some ways. But basically, um, Maria Brink, or you know, in the music video, her character per se, basically like crying out to God for help, because you know, she let the devil take over her, so to speak. The song is about. It took me a while to um, you know, catch on with the news, but him has sort of broken up a little bit. So um, he did come out with um, his, not necessarily his own song, but as in Villa Bala. Um, he did sort of come out with his own song, um, which he, it was already an existing song, but he translated it into a Finnish one, which is Olet Mun Kegelatain. I apologize to any Finnish people watching this and I butchered that. But yeah, so I've been loving um, this song. He's such a beautiful voice. Like, what else is there to say about it? So I have been loving Find the album. Hello to Runes with another Finnish singer. Um, Innocence. Such a good song. I love it. I also have really been loving Supremacy. I will play a little bit because um, I can play um, songs less than 30 seconds. <laughs> Supremacy. Supremacy. If you guys get the idea, I want to play less than 10 seconds so I don't get my ass copyrighted. There's music that I've been loving, and that definitely concludes the end of this favorite video. So that's stuck to the very end of that song part moments. So thank you all so much for watching this long last video. I have no idea how long this video is going to be until so I start editing it and go to the final clip. Thank you all so much for watching, and I shall see you all for my future videos. Ciao! Or as I usually say, ciao!